in today's class we'll be discussing about uh, how exactly uh, the map reduce uh, operations whatever uh, we have seen uh, uh, using uh, units awk the same thing can be executed in map reduce uh, map reduce operation Okay, so when we look into uh, logical flow of uh, map reduce uh, data in weather data set. Uh, what happens uh, here is uh, we input our uh, data to map phase. So this data, whatever we are uh, taking in, so we are uh, getting it from uh, National Center for, uh, you know, uh, National Center, uh, Climatic Cent uh, uh, National Center for uh, Data and Climates. So National Climatic Data Center data, we are just collecting and we are giving it uh, to the map phase. When we run this, uh, the map phase, so what happens? Mapper will uh, first assign, make the raw data into key and value. It will make the data into key and value. It will make the data into key value pairs. So, uh, we choose the text input format that gives uh, uh, each line in data set as a text value. And of course, uh, so whatever the data that we feed in, whatever the data that we feed into the uh, map reduce uh, will be actually uh, in the form of a text data, textual data. So this textual data this textual data, what happens, uh, it will be fed into the uh, map reduce, mapper phase. Once it is uh, fed, what mapper will do? Mapper converts that uh, data, whatever the text data, text data is a very big data, very big file. Text data is very large file, very big file. And uh, so what it will do, it will split that uh, text file, it will split that text file into number of a small, small, small uh, uh, file, a small, 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 uh, uh, you know, text chunks. We call it as text blocks. So maybe some, um, every line, every line it will be splitted. Okay, so split based on the line. So that can be done. So the key is uh, offset, that is the uh, beginning of the key. So of course, once you split the entire data, what happens? You should uh, create a key and you should create a value. The split data is a value, split data is a value and uh, split offset. Offset is nothing but the position of uh, the split. Suppose zero position you have split. So you start from zero, some data up to uh, 250. Okay, so 250 is the second, uh, uh, you know, split. 250 to next 500, next 500 to 700, 750, 750 to 1000. So this zero, 250, 500, uh, uh, 750, uh, thousand these are all uh, the keys these are all the keys and the after splitting that position whatever the value you get whatever the data you get that becomes a value the key is the offset of the beginning of the line from the beginning of the file but we have uh, no need uh, for this of course we will certainly you know just for the sake of uh, uh, you know, uh, map reduce will certainly split the data into raw data into key and value pairs. So 
what we do is we just uh, you know for the sake of process we will do that further it will be again split further uh, it will be again split so at the first stage it will split based on the positions based on the positions okay that is what uh, we do it now our mapper function is simple we pull uh, out uh, the year data and uh, year temperature since uh, these are uh, the only fields that we are interested but what happens when you take raw data along with the our uh, interesting data we want uh, the interesting data is year year data we have to take we have to take uh, year year data uh, the temperature year temperature so temperature data and year these are the two things that uh, we require these are the two things we require but uh, along with this there are some other uh, components are also there so uh, okay during the split we will separate the lines once the lines are uh, separated once the lines are separated what we can do is uh, we have to in that particular line we have to choose the year data and the temperature data year data and temperature data we have to choose once these uh, data we have chosen further what we can do we can certainly you no know, process we can certainly process uh, further okay in this case the map function is just a data preparation phase okay setting up uh, the data in such a way that uh, the reducer can uh, do uh, work based on its uh, output the mapper output will be the input for the reducer finding the maximum temperature for every year that is each year is what uh, you know you are uh, reducer is supposed to do is supposed to do and for this and for this <coughs> the mapper should uh, split the entire raw data into key value pairs and it has to supply so that is what uh, you know it has to do further uh, to visualize the the center how exactly once you split the data how exactly your data looks like so see the sample sna snapshot of lines look at here so once you split the lines so this will be the raw data so normally <clears throat> what you will do you will split the data you will split the data once here another split will be done here another split is done here and uh, another split another split in the next line okay one split second split third split fourth fifth split so like this all the lines i think uh, there are uh, you know almost uh, 250 uh, weather stations uh, every hour it is sending data into uh, 24 hours into uh, all uh, 30 365 days that is one year like that we have almost 100 years of data so we have to find we have to find uh, the you know total we have to find the uh, we have to process the entire uh, total set of data and we have to uh, you know process uh, we have to process the Uh, entire set of data and find uh, maximum temperature in each year that is the anal analysis that we are supposed to do so right after doing so what we are doing further so after doing uh, splitting so what is that it is doing so these lines are presented to map so this is after Uh, your uh, raw data you have chosen this uh, raw data is sent into mapper fix map will what it will do it will split it will split the data it will split the data zero zero is the first position the data is so much of data observe here 
so much of data we have got next split we did it at 106 position number 106 this is the entire set of data next data is 212 212 is a split position and this is the entire data next 318 this is the entire set of data this is uh, 424 this is like this it will split it will split it will split it will create a, a, a huge uh, uh, value pair so the split position will be here the split position will be the value uh, sorry uh, the key and uh, this entire thing is the position this entire thing the entire thing is the position and observe here here so this particular set of data some uh, you know data have bolded you just see some data have bolded here some data are bolded here also some data i have bolded so keys are nothing but they are line splitting offsets in the file so which we will uh, certainly ignore uh, right now and of course anyhow map uh, reduce will always generate map reduce will always generate uh, what we call uh, <coughs> the key value pairs uh, so that's the reason uh, it has been uh, taken like that the output of map is always uh, key value pair the map function merely extracts the year and the temperature uh, data so once it uh, splits like this splitting is one function one function of uh, one uh, uh, you know processing task of map and second one is in that split i don't want all the data i want only the year data and i want only the value temperature value which are indicated in bold text so what it will do it will again take this data it will further again uh, send it to second mapper next mapper okay map phase can uh, run uh, any number of time of course so again one mapper will give it to another mapper in another mapper what another mapper is doing another mapper is extracting you know the year data and uh, the temperature data year data and temperature data so it is extracting it is extracting year data and temperature data and uh, observe that and observe that once it is extracted once it is uh, extracted it looks like this 1950 the temperature is zero look at here zero is the temperature 1950 again this is one of the uh, station one of the stations temperature this is another station temperature is 22 degree 1950 same another temperature is minus 11 degrees in another temperature is uh, triple one 1949 triple one is the temperature Tip, triple one is actually Fahrenheit okay and uh, in another station 1949 so it is 78 so it is splitting it is splitting one second it is splitting the data based on the year field and the temperature so here year becomes here year becomes the key and uh, the temperature becomes the value so this will be sent this will be sent to the next phase again next mapper what mapper is doing again another mapper is doing so the next mapper what it is doing the output from the map function is processed by the shuffle and sort shuffle and sort there is another uh, uh, you know component associated with the map so uh, what happens before it uh, sends to reducer it will shuffle and uh, you know sort so what is that it is doing it is uh, converting it is converting all years data all year data into 
one uh, list. It's converting all year data into a list. 1949, what are all the data it has got? What are all the data it has got? So all those data it has uh, put in, all those data it has put in into a list. So 1949 is the key and the list is the value. So out of this list, the maximum value it has to find. So that once that is uh, uh, been uh, formed, so year wise maximum temperature is formed. Year wise maximum temperature is formed. Year wise maximum temperature is formed. So that will be done by the reducer. Okay, so what happens? Uh, the, this is this processed data from the shuffle and sort will send it to uh, the processing sort and groups the key value pairs uh, with the help of a key. So continuing the example, our reduce function sees the following input. So this becomes the input for this becomes the input for your reducer. This becomes the uh, input for your reducer. And what reducer will do? For every year, with a list of all the temperatures reading, the reducer function or uh, reduce function will iterate through and finds the maximum reading. Finds the maximum reading. So finally, it will uh, generate this as the final output. So this is only two years I have just taken. Like this, it will process for all 100 years. It will process for all 100 years. And uh, if you try this, okay, for all 100 years across the 250 plus uh, stations, every ever into 24, into 365, it's a very big file. And if you execute this program, definitely within eight minutes, I got the output. In our lab, in our lab, uh, you know, systems. You know, I'm not using a high-end system. In our lab systems, I got within eight system, eight minutes. The same program, if I run it in uh, uh, Unix AWK, 42 minutes it took. So now you decide which one is faster. So that's why MapReduce is, uh, you know, highly efficient, uh, you know, uh, framework that we, we are supposed to understand. Okay, so entire uh, process is you know, represented in this particular diagram. Probably you can see, we have the raw data given as input. This raw data is being uh, you know, sent to your uh, map. So once it is sent to your map, so it is key value pair, it is sent, and this will be converted into this will be converted into uh, year-wise keys and values. So sort and shuffle, uh, what it will do, it will again uh, you know, group it based on the key. And once it is grouped based on the key, what happens? It will be given to the reducer. Reducer will find the maximum temperature in the each group, each uh, group. So it will find, so that becomes uh, you know, uh, exact temperature finding with respect to MapReduce program. Finally, you will get the output year and the maximum temperature. You will get the year and the maximum. That will be the final output. The same program. So, today, uh, <clears throat> so we'll see. Right. So, how to implement this in uh, Java program. So having run through the how exactly MapReduce program works, next step is to express it in the code. So we have uh, three components in our program. One is map function, another one is reduce function, and uh, one uh, program to monitor these two things. That is job tracker. So one program should go to job tracker, one program should go to map, one program should go to uh, reduce. So three programs we are supposed to write. So that's what. 
the map function represents by mapper class it is uh, you know declared as an abstract map function method so we'll see that coding uh, uh, tomorrow's class in fact in fact uh, now they have closed the lab uh, one o'clock we work till one o'clock so uh, i'm coming out of the lab uh, i'm sitting in your classroom nobody is there so i remember you all very much okay so inside the classroom i'm just uh, delivering the online uh, class right okay the same thing it will be represented in uh, a small diagram look at here so the data raw data raw data will be presented to a job tracker so job tracker we call it as maximum temperature dot java this is a job tracker once this job tracker if it is uh, sent job tracker will uh, split this uh, entire uh, job into uh, map process and reduce process map process is a java program reduce process is again a java program and uh, what happens uh, first map program will execute and finally a reduce program will execute and uh, finally you get the result output this is what uh, and in the examination definitely they'll ask all these things explain the steps and uh, you have to write all three programs so it is for nine marks remember so each program is a three mark program it's very big programs so nothing to do only thing you should understand this program that's all it's very simple very easy and if you write all the steps hardly you have a very few programs so one program which i have already shown in uh, the writing writing into hdfs reading into hdfs those two programs and these this program this is a set of programs three programs you have to certainly execute uh, uh, you have to uh, you know uh, understand and execute okay anyhow we'll discuss this in the upcoming class i think uh, uh, i have already got the instructions so by 130 i had to close because you have a, a lab test i'm really happy yesterday you have validated my words and uh, everybody you have attended thank you so much so from this platform i'm just uh, expressing my heartfelt thanks and uh, hope uh, this learning spirit uh, should continue okay and of course uh, you will do it and uh, god bless you all thank you all the best for your uh, lab internals that's all today's class recording is uh, available in this particular uh, website as well as the study material is available in this particular website that's all thank you for the day have a wonderful uh, day